Alright guys, we're on to another quick did you know I'm using Maya 2015, but I'm sure you could be using any other uh, Maya version. Let's just go into paint effects and I'm going to select this natty little one here. And if we paint like this, then we create like a really cool little thing that you'd use in um, motion graphics perhaps. So we could just get rid of that and let's just scale the brush up a little bit and have a little, little bit of a closer look. Um, these are the sort of things you'd create in After Effects and try and animate around and stuff like that, which is um, kind of cool. And if we just created a sphere and drop that down here and scale it up, sort of bring it up around this area, we'll just select the paint effects, select the sphere, and we'll just get the paint effects, make collide. And then if we just go into the paint effects and we'll open up the attribute editor and we'll scroll to the um, Attribute for it, we can look inside the creation tab and uh, the bottom of the creation tab there's one that says occupation surface. We can stick those up to about 100. And we can also uh, take up the um, the radius offset, the radius scale, sorry, about 50. And you can see that this uh, paint effects is now trying to cling around the sphere. Um, we can obviously make it do more or less and play around the uh, offset and we can create something called branch termination as well which will kill some of the branches off and then you can render that and you can create a head made of these really odd shapes but you could also uh, just turn off the visibility of this but you can still animate that um, and then you can create all sorts of different animations so it's not a bad little tool for um, motion graphics guys cheers guys thanks a lot take care bye